And once again, I'm gonna loot this vending machine because I even gotten some more comments that yes, it's possible to get an energy drink from it. You can get an energy drink, boy! This is my first time after opening probably a bajillion of these vending machines. This is awesome, dude. Seriously, we got my first energy drink. Hey, yo, yo, guys, it's me, Episodic, and welcome back to Last and Earth Survival. So right now, we're gonna go for the raid because as you can see, we have here one C4. I also took a couple of hatchets, so that should be enough. But before we go anywhere else, I don't wanna be a savage, so let's wash our chopper bada boom and as you can see it became a bit better like our chopper was pretty clean but those pipes and the engine looks a bit better now so hey and maybe maybe we're gonna get a bit better raid with the clean chopper obviously most likely we're just gonna get some sort of trash so we are gonna be raiding player 9932 and i've done some research on this base and <sighs> Let's just watch and let's see what kind of a raid are we gonna get. I don't even know how to call this a raid. This isn't gonna be a raid, but we'll see. You know what? I'm just gonna park my chopper somewhere over here. And as we can see, this dude didn't even clear his base. He has a lot of stones all around it. And for some reason, I cannot move. Why can't I move? Okay, now I can move. My character was stuck for some reason. This is a sign that this is gonna be a great base. So he has a bunch of here iron ores. He has a bunch of wood in his base. So, you know, this is a great sign that this base is gonna be amazing. But whatever, let's try to loot his truck. And inside a truck, we're gonna get here two pieces of of rope and three pieces of scrap metal. I don't think that's good. <laughs> I totally don't think that's good. Why there is so many trees in the base? What is going on? What is this dude? He didn't even assemble a CB radio. That's what I am talking about. How did this guy get into the rating system in the first place? Like he didn't assemble his radio. Why am I even raiding his base? I don't understand. You know what? I'm just gonna chop down his chest over here and maybe, maybe we'll be able to get something nice. And we got one bandage. If this is not cool, I don't know what is cool. Whatever. Let's go. Okay. Can't even use up the bandage. Thought I'm just gonna waste it. But I can't apparently so uh, whatever you know what and let's go let's place one c4 somewhere over here not sure i mean it's probably not gonna be worth it but again i just want to show you what kind of raid this is and we're gonna get two chests inside of this chest. And plus, for some reason, somehow he can grow grass on top of this uh, level three floor from the stones. I don't know how that's possible. I mean, okay, I'm not gonna ask that. You know, maybe the grass grows through the cracks of these uh, stone bricks, so that's okay. Okay, I don't have any more C4, so I shouldn't worry about accidentally exploding another wall. So inside of this first chest, we're gonna get a full SWAT set. Is that a full SWAT set? Yeah, this is gonna be a full SWAT set. Totally didn't even realize that thought. Didn't see that on the video. Because again, for those who don't know how to do research on the base just go on youtube type ldoe raid player 1234 and you will be able to get all the information about whatever raid you're planning to do if somebody raided that base and uploaded video on youtube so hopefully that helps a lot because every time if i don't mention it there's going to be at least a couple of people asking how to do research on bases so hey this is how we do research plus we got a selkie from the prison this is cool this is cool why an electronic circuit plus one steel plate so you know what that c4 was totally not worth it i mean we just got well at least we got a shotgun but again which shotgun with light hand guard okay nothing's too much special to be honest just a bunch of stone and bunch of grass here on this base i'm just out of wars this raid definitely doesn't get cyrex approval garbage raid that's what i think about this raid and also what do you think about this raid would you raid a base like that and would you be happy if you got a raid like that <laughs> so i'm back at the base and you know what these raiders deserve something really really amazing let's take this piece of trash let's put it in my inventory and you know what's gonna happen now but why do you want to bait them with trash? Did you just see what kind of raid we got? So here we go. Let's give them trash. Oops, oopsies. Accidentally almost get... Wait, what if I give them Winchester? You know where you stick the share? Okay, so you're not happy with the Winchester. Here we go. Take the trash, share, and they just left. Thought you can get away with it so easily. And they just left the base. And when we exit... So I exited the map, and you can see now these raiders are going to attack my base in two hours. But the point is, and what I've learned today, is that you don't actually have to be online in order to fight raiders. Unless I'm maybe wrong or something happened but today i wanted to kill raiders once again but i logged in too late and i thought that that's not gonna happen i won't be able to kill them and i spawned in naked and raiders spawned at the base even though timer ran out so my theory is that raiders are gonna spawn at your base even if you're late on the timer so what i'll try to do is craft the proper trap and prepare properly for the raid before exiting the base before going to sleep and maybe tomorrow in the morning i'll be able to kill those raiders even though timer will run out we'll see and most likely we cannot call raiders here once again again is it possible to call them once again nah by the looks of it it's impossible to call them uh okay right now on the map we got this oak clearing event and a lot of you've been telling me that there are some new tasks inside of the oak clearing event i'm not really sure if that's true or not but i even seen some screenshots of new people inside of the oak clearing event that i haven't seen before and truth to be told i've done that oak clearing event maybe once or twice because i'm not sure how efficient this oak clearing event is it takes a lot of energy so i don't know what what 
what, what, what? I just got attacked by these two toxic spitters here. We're gonna deal with them super quickly. And I wanna see what's going on. Obviously, I'm gonna take here my sneaking skill because... Or maybe I need to take my zoom skill. Do I have it? Yeah, here we go. I have my look around skill. Let's actually go and maybe try to sneak behind these dudes. Okay, rabbit wolf. Most likely, they are just gonna be feasting on something there. So I'm not sure what kind of event this is. But again, sometimes you can get here or some dudes patrolling the area. There's gonna be a tent and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. And for some reason, these toxic spitters keep attacking me out of nowhere. I just wanna see what these uh, rabbit wolves are eating. I'm just waiting for my zoom skill to charge up. And here goes zoom skill is gonna be charged up very soon. Let's do this. And look at that. They are eating a dead body there, dude. They are eating a dead body. So my zoom skill charged up once again. Let's go. Let's check them from this angle. And they are definitely eating the dead body. You know what? I'm just gonna fight them now. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, more dudes have just appeared. Okay, these are just toxic spitters. Did we get anything good inside of this guy? I mean, okay, just three pieces of meat. Gonna eat that. Gonna deal with another toxic spitter. So there is a lot of toxic spitters in this zone. And I'm not sure how many oak pieces you can get here. But there is definitely a little bit of oak here and there. Okay, there is another group of zombies. As you can see on the minimap. Wow. I'm gonna wait again for that zoom skill to recharge. Because I wanna see what's going on and how that is gonna look like. Okay, I think from over here... We'll get a good angle. Look at that. They are eating. There are literally... Okay, how many wolves? Five wolves. There are literally five wolves looking on that guy. But they aren't doing anything. They're just standing. So, you know what? We're gonna pop these wolves super quickly once again. So, this is definitely a pretty interesting event. Like, can we loot the guy? And just a simple backpack. Would be cool if we could be able to get something cool from the, the dude. Instead of just one simple backpack. Okay, and this zone just has a bunch of other toxic spitters. And another group of zombies. You know what? I'm gonna deal with them. Do I have any other Glocks? Okay, I still have one uh, Glock. Hopefully, that will be enough. Here we go. We're gonna deal with these dudes. Okay, okay. So, there has to be another group of zombies feasting on another body. Here we go. Let's do this. Okay, this dude has some sort of armor and... Uh... Okay, we're just gonna go over here and I'll try to shred them into tiny little pieces once again. They ate the poor bastard, but he still has his eyes open, whatever. So he had only two carrots inside of him and two pieces of log. But let's not worry about the guy he most likely spawned back at his base. But saying this is just an AI. It's the same, doesn't matter. So this place just has some oak and that's it. I'm not gonna be chopping down that oak because I don't need oak. I have enough oak there at the base. I just wanted to check out how event, uh, how this event looks like, especially for those who always plan to do oak clearing events. So as you can see, there is some oak wood, but I'm not sure if it's really that much worth it. It's definitely better to assemble your chopper. I would suggest you putting all your energy into crafting your chopper first, and then you'll be able to unlock these zones and they're gonna be way better than this oak clearing event. But if you need some oak desperately for your, for whatever reason, reasons, then yeah, all clearing event is going to be a viable option. So before we go anywhere else, I would love to share some more information about new dog breeds coming to last and earth survival that you can see here right now on your screen. And this is what they had to say about it. News for devoted Synologists. Very soon the shout will be added with new elite breeds of dogs. A Rottweiler is a powerful and fierce dog. Murderous and strong guard loyal only to its owner. With a companion like this, there is nothing to be afraid of. Corgis are lovely and cheerful companions of a true survivor. Don't let their cuteness and small size deceive you. Loyal, smart, and nimble Corgis are ready to guard their owners till their last breath. Which one will you choose? So, a lot of people are gonna have different opinions about dogs. I do know some people that are gonna love this update, and myself, personally, I am really, really, really disappointed that they are even teasing this kind of stuff. It's like, hey, look, we're gonna add some new dog breeds to the shop, and once again, they've added those huskies to the shop, and it wasn't that exciting, because huskies are just basically a different skin. They don't have any other treats, and it's like, what's the point of adding new skins and even like really teasing them and being hyped about it. I don't know. I never like true friend dogs are really hard to obtain in the game. They're like literally probably the biggest pay to win thing in the game and they're teasing that. I mean like again, I'm not really excited about that. I get it why they do this, but I'm not excited. This is just my five cents about it. If you're excited about these new doggo skins or something like that, then that's very cool for you. I'm happy that you're hyped, but I totally don't care about it. Wish they showed something else. So as you can see, all of my locations now are under cooldown. My bunker alpha is under cooldown. Police department is under cooldown. And even the farm is under cooldown. So you know what we're gonna do right now? Let's just do this snap. So welcome to my other account. For those who do not know, I've started here these free-to-play series to teach people how to play the game and blah, blah, blah. And I still think they're pretty interesting to watch. So we're gonna grind here a little bit because I usually don't play here that much. And I would love to get this account at like level at least 99. And maybe then we'd be able to do some kind of raids here. So that would mean that we would have more raids in the future. So we'll see how that's gonna go. So let's go. Let's add some more engines to my chopper. We already have here 10 engines. The only thing that I need is my chopper fork. So hopefully we'll be able to get chopper fork. We'll assemble our chopper and then we'll 
will start driving everywhere. And also today is the day when we will be able to craft here our recycler in this account. So let's craft it. Boom, baby. Let's go and let's place it somewhere over here. And finally, okay, I need to place it on level two floor. Nani. Okay, level two floor, not a big deal. Let's take this. We're gonna do a little bit of a live hack. Gonna craft here some more platforms. And in order to not waste my resources, I'm just gonna move this level one chest somewhere else. Boop. And I'm gonna place my recycler here up the top. Gonna switch it. Eh, I think this corner is gonna be fine. And now let's go to the top. And finally, we will be able to start recycling really, really cool items such as empty cans. Because with these empty cans, I'll be able to get some aluminum. But you know what? Nobody really cares about aluminum. But the most important part is that we are gonna get here scrap metal. And with this scrap metal, I'll be able to recycle it into... Not recycle it, but I'll be able to smelt it into iron. That's how I'm gonna be getting iron in this account. Because I don't really wanna grind for that iron ore myself. And being able to get scrap metal from that recycler is gonna be really perfect. So finally, we crafted it. That was really, really important. And plus, I have some more empty cans. Here we go. So I think now we're gonna have enough scrap metal. So let's gather all of my scrap metal and let's start smelting it to get some more iron. And also think that this is really important even for advanced players because if you don't raid that much and if you didn't really get any iron raids and if you don't like grinding for that iron yourself, just recycle your items and get your scrap metal and then just smelt scrap metal into iron because it's really, really viable option to get iron. So what I think I'll do now is I'll go back to Bunker Alpha and I'm gonna get a bit different set, blah, 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 and we will go here to police department. We'll see how many guns I have. Maybe we'll do some police department in this new account. And I do know that I'll be able to open up their two green crates, so they're gonna be really, really useful. Or maybe I won't be able to do too much because I don't have any healing items. I just have these 11 first aid kits, so I think that we're gonna do police department differently. I'm gonna equip this garbage set so that we have at least something. I'll take like one crowbar, one Glock. That should be enough for it. I'm not gonna go there and bother too much. I will also grab these first aid kits just in case to not die there. And I have to have, yes, indeed, I have 23 surgeon cards, so let's take that. We're gonna exchange them for a couple of green and uh, I'll be able to bring some more melee weapons back to Bunker Alpha and we'll start grinding Bunker Alpha a little bit more maybe next time because I need to still open up these crates to get my chopper fork to assemble that chopper. We got this airdrop event and plus corner event. We might do some of them. That's true. But first of all, let's go to this uh, police department. So here, let's enter inside. Let's say hello to the raider. Welcome, welcome raider. I thought he's not gonna raise his hand, but thank God he did. Otherwise, I would have beaten him up. But now all jokes aside, let's go. Let's open up these two green crates. Uh, boop, boop. That should be pretty cool. And show me what kind of loot are we gonna get. One shotgun. Yes, we're gonna be able to kill another blind one with this shotgun. This is cool. And inside of this one, we got a Glock. Wow. Another proof that green cards are awesome. Okay, gonna take that and maybe, maybe I'm gonna go uh, around this police department and maybe I'll kill a couple of zombies. Okay, that zombie officer just attacked me. I'm gonna beat him up with this crowbar. There we go. He didn't drop a single card. That's a little bit sad. Will I be able to sneak up behind this? Yeah, I can. Here we go. Let's deal with this zombie officer. Maybe they're gonna drop me a little bit of brown badges, but so far, yeah, indeed, I got one more brown badge. Pretty cool. Would be really dope if I could gather some more brown badges to open up here another bra uh, another green card. That would be cool. Because the amount of guns and melee weapons we get from these crates is insane. Okay, so inside of this a little shelf, we got basically nothing. Okay, whatever. Let's take these items to assemble some more of those terminals. Okay, we got here a hungry chomper. I'm gonna finish him off here with my Glock. But uh, first of all, I'm gonna do some crit damage with my crowbar. And I'll just pop this dude here with my Glock. It's not a big deal here. We'll just die. And he didn't drop me a single ticket. Ah, disgusting. You know what? We just need four extra brown and doing police department fully here. I mean, doing a lot of waves isn't really smart anyway. So what I will try to do right now is go do maybe four waves. I think that should be enough. Here go. Let's deal with this jailbird. Let's open up this cell. Boom. Let's go and let's deal with these jailbirds super quickly. Just like that. And I think we should be done with it. You know what? I'm just going to activate the wave. I have a little bit of healing items here. And I think I'm just going to do... Uh, police department until I get four brown badges. I think we should be able to get them in the beginning pretty quickly. Here we go. We already got two brown badges plus we leveled up. Let's get our other level. Definitely probably gonna take a uh, skill to stink less. Let's do the second wave. Boom. I'm gonna try to do my best to get the least amount of damage possible. Here we go. Let's deal with them. Another brown. So I just need one more brown and I'll be able to finish here this police department because again, for the beginner, it's not really worth it to do uh, many police department waves and I've been doing police department now in my main account as well and sometimes you don't even get any good cards up to wave. 30 and for the beginner doing 30 waves is gonna be really hard as you don't have a lot of healing items in the first place so here we go let's take these brown cards i think we're gonna stop the wave that's it i've gotten 10 uh, brown 
to get one more green. Let's just hit that surrender bot and then some of the dudes are gonna attack me. Like this riot shielded zombie attacks me out of nowhere. Maybe we're gonna fight him, maybe not. But what I will do now is go and exchange this card for the green boom. Let's do this. It's kind of interesting to do this in the new account because, you know, in the new account, everything is worth it. But in my main account, I don't need any of that because I've been fighting for two years. And let's open up another crowd and we got here a saw blade mace and a katana. Pretty decent. I love police department. Police department is worth it even for newcomers. This is insane. And if you're not familiar with this new account and stuff like that, then consider checking out my playlists. And there you will find my playlist with this free-to-play account. I've already made nine videos on it. And I'm pretty sure if you're new to the game, you're going to learn a lot of and a lot of cool tips. So, hey, check that out. But now we're going to deal with this here. Riot zombie. Boom. And he grabbed, drop us a green card. This is awesome. It's really rare that they would drop me a green card. So next time I'll be able to open up another green once again. Now, let's try to take all of these items and make most likely I'm just going to bring them back to Bunker Alpha somehow, some way. And also, let's learn these blueprints because I forgot that I don't know any of these blueprints here in this account. So here we go. All of these blueprints are going to be appreciated if one day, if I'll assemble that gunsmith bench. So whatever, let's take some armor. Let's take some healers. If I'm not mistaken, USBs and phones can give you an electronic circuit and we need that electronic circuit in order to unlock that Sector 7. So I'm going to save up that USB for the Sector 7 because I wanted to delete that USB. So hey, let's keep that in mind. And once again, I'm going to loot this vending machine because I even gotten some more comments that yes, it's possible to get an energy drink from it. You can get an energy drink, boy! This is my first time after opening probably a bajillion of these vending machines. This is awesome, dude. Seriously, we got my first energy drink so this is possible happy sire confirmed you can get an energy drink from police department i didn't think it's possible dude so seriously it is confirmed i can say this for sure that you can get it nice 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 i don't have a lot of energy now anyway so let's just drink it we just got it we drank it but i'll be able to get to my bunker alpha leave all of these cool items and then come back and then do that conway event because maybe maybe that conway event is gonna drop us a finger and then with that finger we're gonna get another glock and plus we can get some aluminum plates but again i don't really remember if we need any aluminum plates, especially in the beginning of the game, besides crafting level four walls. So that might be worth it. And I still haven't done a farm a single time because in order to unlock farm, I believe you'll need to farm first because you'll need to get those bricks and stuff like that. And it's just going to take time to do it. And I don't know if I'll find enough time to open up my farm. So we're getting more and more guns, more and more melee weapons. And imagine that we are only here level 49 and we have this amount of guns. We have this amount of melee weapons without grinding too much. So, hey, if you want to know how to get rich, definitely check those places. Also, I think I said that bajillion times already, but hey, I think you can never say too much. Well, let's take a quick pee pee and we will go to that coin event right now because I took one machete, could took a little bit of first aid kits and I'm stinking a lot. That's not good, dude. So let's take a shower in the second floor. Here we go. I have two bottles of water. We're going to take a shower because it will be harder to do coin event if I'll have to sneak behind those zombies because those zombies going to start charging up on me and that's just not going to be cool. And why did this dude attack me? Oh, because I'm stinking. So he saw me literally from the other side. Okay. And did I loot this? This vending machine on this account already? Nope, I did not. So maybe, maybe it's possible to get an energy drink in this vending machine as well. If I'm going to get here an energy drink, it'll be insane. But we didn't get anything. Whatever, let's eat the beans. There's going to be this a floater bloater and we are definitely going to deal with him super quickly and then we'll take a shower. And again, now, I'm not sure if everybody knows it, but you can take a shower here in this, in the, at Bunker Alpha. Here, go, let's take this. Let's take a shower over here. No, we are la, 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 la. So now when we are not stinking and we smell good, let's go <laughs> to that Conway event and maybe, maybe, maybe we'll be able to get there something nice. And if we'll have enough energy, we'll also go to the airdrop because airdrop always drops a cool thing. So here we go. We have enough energy. Very cool that we got that energy drink. Wish you could get that energy drink constantly. I don't think it would break the game balance. It would be really awesome if, you know, you spend that much energy just to get that police department and you get their one energy drink. I don't think it would be uh, game breaking at all wish we could get more energy drinks there. It would be guaranteed energy drink. I would love it. You know what? Let's pick up some seeds. Boom. Very nice. I definitely say way too much boom. I remember last video that I had to edit. Like literally every second word was just me saying boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Let's just stop with that. I'm 22 years old and how do I speak? It's just boom. Beep, beep, boom. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> okay, let's try to deal with this fast biter somehow, some way, and we'll be able to go and loot that guy. All I'll just do, I have enough space in my inventory, so I'll just go and click all. It, I'll take all and I'll exit that. Maybe I could go and loot this chest. Is it possible? Yeah, it's, loot, it's possible to loot the chest. Let's go. Let's take it. And inside, we just got some glue, some nuts. And I'm going to go over here. Going to take all. And yes, indeed, we got a finger. Very nice. Let's get out of this zone now. Maybe some of these shocks uh, did have some great loot, but I don't think it's worth it now. I think we're going to be able to bring that finger next time to Bunker Alpha 
because if I go to Bunker Alpha now, I won't have enough energy to go and do that airdrop. I still have it. Do I have an airdrop? And yes, airdrop is pretty far away, but we have enough energy. So let's get to that airdrop, baby. And maybe we'll be able to get some engine parts because from airdrop, we can get engine parts to finish out my chopper. Can't wait to finish the chopper because then we'll be able to do chopper events and even more guns. And this game just becomes easy. And I think after that, I'll have to start grinding for the walls. But again, it's just time consuming and it makes no sense for me to do the same thing what I've done in my main account. It's just gonna be double grind. I just wanted to show here that it's possible to get guns and it's totally possible as you can see. Okay, Doki, so here we go. We are at this airdrop event. Now let's go. Let's open it up. Also, I'm gonna pick up all of the seeds that I can see because I need that food and so far carrot seeds are the only food that I got. And also let's kill a couple of deer because I need that leather in order to craft crowbars. Have no idea why do we need leather for the crowbars? That seriously, that's mind boggling if you ask me, but hey, this is how last than earth works. So I don't think I'm gonna question that. Uh, okay, let's deal with this toxic spitter now. Boom, boom. Again, I'm saying that boom, here go. Let's kill that. Let's kill this. Let's pick up all their leather. Psych tries to be efficient as possible even at the airdrop event. And I have to craft my sewing table because with the sewing table, we'll be able to convert plant fiber into bandages. Now, we got a Glock? What? Nice. Let's take a Glock. Let's take some iron. Pretty cool airdrop. I think this is one of the best airdrop events that I've done in a really long time. Let's take some rubber parts. I'll need those rubber parts. I got some meat, got some leather. Also gonna pick up some more grass just to get those seeds. Well, sadly, okay, there's a lot of grass in one place. And so far, I didn't really get a lot of seeds besides only two pieces of seeds. That's it. Well, picked up a lot of stuff and did it get... Oh, yes, I got one more. So three seeds. That means six carrots and that means 120 health. So this is how you have to be efficient to not waste your energy when you go, let's say, to the airdrop. Be efficient, pick up everything and plus you've had here a hatchet, I would suggest you grinding here for some wood to get wood because wood is appreciated, but I didn't have any more space and I didn't have any hatchet, so I couldn't really grind that zone. And plus, we got just this oak clearing event that I had there in my main account, but I don't have enough energy to go there and I don't really need oak, especially right now when I'm at level 50 because we'll start worrying about our base when I'll assemble the chopper. I think that would be more time efficient. So I highly suggest you checking out this last on Earth survival video with 200 reputation raid or click here on the second card and you will go to the visit let's play it's a really really cool horror game so make sure to check it out or go to my channel then click playlist and there you'll find other games that i played here on the channel i'm pretty sure you're gonna find there's something that you will like and make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell if you're not subscribed yet